So on the list for next winter season is definitely shoes and a warmer pair of gloves. That is uh, something that is definitely needed. Today I'm picking up a friend from the airport who's coming here for some work. I uh, haven't seen him in a while, so that would be good. Uh, going out for a, maybe a few beers, uh, some food, and just talk and catch up. It's been a, been a long time, so I'm looking forward to that. That, that will be fun. I'm about to soon go to the airport and uh, pick up my friend. And the problem is I don't know how much time is needed. I never know how much time is needed when going to the airport. Uh, I'm a person that's always early. Uh, but going to the airport, you never know how much traffic is going to be. Will there be parking? Can I park close? Do I have to walk far from the car? Um, and all those kind of things, uh, which probably will end up me being super early and we all know how fun it is to wait at a uh, at a small airport there's just not much to do but i guess uh, that's something i just have to live with being early at the airport nevertheless it's going to be fun to see him um, and i also found out that we have a well i didn't find out but we have a dinner thing tomorrow with work and I just called the restaurant and you can bring dogs, which is good. Which means I don't have to stay home, so I can enjoy that. And not being worried that my apartment being chewed up. So that's good. Uh, but today, uh, in about, hey, well, plane lands in about three hours. So, which means I have to go in about two and a half, I suppose. Uh, pick him up and let's take it from there. I'm about to go to the airport. It's about uh, 45 minutes until the plane lands, which means I'm gonna be there super early. Typical me, uh, but better to be early than late, I suppose. Let's go. And of course, 10 minutes before the flight is supposed to land, it shows up that it's about half an hour delayed. So, thank you. While waiting at the airport, we need some, some, some entertainment, or in this case, food. Full day of workshop uh, has been fun. Now it's time to go home, get ready for the uh, dinner, evening dinner, together with all the colleagues. That will be fun. So it's um, it's, it's gonna be a long day, uh, but luckily the dog can, can can follow me to the restaurant so I don't have to leave him home. So yeah, that would be good. Tonight, we are drinking beer. It's been a long time and it's gonna be uh, pretty good. So hopefully, I'm able to drive tomorrow, but that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah.
Well, in case you wonder, it's about minus 15, and my face is uh, freezing. It's really, really cold, and the wind uh, makes it about minus, I don't know, 20, 23, 25. Uh, yeah, it's not really pleasant. And if you can't tell, I'm going for this frozen uh, mustache look. It's really cold. I'm freezing pretty much my face off. Next day, a little bit tired. There were a few beers in my hole, but it still feels, it feels pretty good. Just get on board and you know get on with it today the temperature hit about just below freaking freezing <coughs> so my uh, beard is uh, sort of getting iced everything is getting iced and uh, they say tomorrow is gonna be even colder so that will be quite interesting not sure how it can be colder because in the wind I think we have around I don't know minus 25 or something today so tomorrow it will be way below freaking freezing That was two days of uh, pretty intense workshops, actually. It was really good. I uh, learned a lot uh, about how I'm supposed to do my work. That was two days of workshops. Uh, it was good, learned a lot, got some new ideas about work. So hopefully I can start implementing those. Uh, but for now, I think that will be the end of it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.